is the most perfect orange lipstick shade. Let me know if you're part of the orange lipstick ch orange. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to get a bunch of my Fenty stuff and I never do a lot of tutorials on my channel. I do three looks and all of that kind of stuff, but I just kind of wanted to sit down with you guys, have a little chit chat, do some like fun, summery, springish, fresh, glowy makeup today. So that is what we're going to be doing. I know you guys can't really see, but I have some like wavy beach hair going on <laughs> but um i'm gonna start off with the hydrating pro filter primer from fenty this one feels really nice on the skin i've been using some retinol lately and my skin could benefit from some extra hydration all right starting the glow off the right way and i'm actually going to take the matchstick and linen. I'm gonna put this on my eyelids. I don't really like using the concealer on my eyelids because I feel like it doesn't dry down like the matchstick does. And because I'm doing a full face of Fenty, I don't really have an eye primer with coverage. And you guys know I like coverage on my eyes because I do have darkness, veins, redness discoloration all of the fun things going on <laughs> and then i'm gonna take the pro filter hydrating foundation this foundation and me are very all over the place i'm just gonna put it at that because this foundation i feel like sometimes it works for me and sometimes it doesn't i don't really understand it but at the moment it is working for me because my skin is a bit dry but when my skin is not dry, this foundation is like, oh no girl, not, I don't want to go on your face today. And I find that this foundation works best on me when it's applied in pretty light layers. I'm not really focusing on blending it out a ton. I'm just kind of slapping it on my face and spreading it around because I'm going to go over all of this with a sponge. But do you guys ever have a foundation that does that where sometimes it can look really, really good on your skin and then other times it's like, what in the heck went wrong here? And I'm gonna take the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in 120. And I'm just gonna take a little bit where I got the darkness. Oh, I'm feeling more like myself. Do you guys ever have those days where I feel like I have two different days. I have days where I really just want to sit in my room alone with some music going and doing my makeup. And then I have other times where I want to just sit and talk with you guys and do my makeup. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the Pro Filter setting powder in butter. I'm going to just set where I get oily throughout the day. This is like my everyday thing. I feel like I always say where I get oily throughout the day, but I really don't put a lot of powder on all over my face. I just kind of focus it in select areas. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna get into my cheeks. Man, you guys know I'm gonna be using these cream blushes and bronzers. I love these so much, but I'm gonna take Butter Biscuit Kind of sounded like it was raining for a second. I'm gonna bronze with this. I want something very like bronzy, glowy, fresh. I don't know. Have y'all been putting makeup on during this whole pandemic? Have you wanted to play with makeup? Are you just kind of doing skincare, focusing on other parts of your routine? I found that during the weekend when I'm not like filming and editing and all of that mumbo jumbo, I find that I I kind of want to do my makeup. I don't know what it is, but I keep finding myself like trying to be lazy. And I guess it's because we're stuck at home all day that I like to keep doing stuff. And so even if like I'm home alone, well not really alone, but like, you know, like just kind of home, and we can't go to the movie theaters, we can't go to 
you know, anything other than really like the grocery store, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to put like a whole full face of makeup on and I want to try this out and I want to practice this part. And I don't know if it's just me because I am, I've always been really into makeup or what the heck is going on with me, but I feel like that's what I keep doing and gravitating towards. Oh, it feels so nice to have some definition back in the space. Now, this is the moment that I've been waiting for. I haven't used Fuego Blush, the cream blush on my cheeks yet. So I'm literally doing this whole look kind of around this blush. I just want to focus on this one. There is a dog hair in my blush. Only me, but I want to pack on this orange blush and I'm gonna live my best life with this orange blush. Oh my gosh. I knew Fenty was gonna do something right with these colors. The second I saw an orange blush, I was like, yes, I'm buying all of them. <laughs> I love orange blush so much. And then I'm gonna take a match stick. This one is in Champagne Heist. I haven't used this in a while. And whenever I don't use a match stick for a while, I like to warm it up on the back of my hand before I go and apply it. But I feel like this one would be pretty good. That helps the fuego. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna take one more match stick. This is Starstruck. And I'm gonna put this one down on the bridge of my nose. Don't do the tip of my nose. All right, now we're looking a little crazy because we don't got the eyes done. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Pro Filter Invisimat eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna dot it all over the place, blend it in with my finger. All right, and then I have two Snap Shadow palettes. I have number seven, Cadet, and number eight, number eight pastel frost but i'm gonna be focusing most on number seven because you guys know i love this like color story and eyeshadow palettes i don't know what it is gets me every single time but i'm gonna take this kind of yellowy shade and i'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit more but now it's time to get a little bit more chit chatty since i got the miscellaneous kind of stuff out of the way but let's talk about things I'm excited for. So of course, Anastasia Norvina came out with another Norvina Pro Pigment Palette and I am so excited. I got it, still haven't received my shipping not notification. Sephora hates me at the moment. I don't know what's going on, but my Fenty order with the cream blushes took forever to get a shipping notification and I understand with like the current things going on but also this is like my job so it's kind of like not having something for your job that you kind of need because I can't make a video on it until I have it so yeah it gets a little frustrating when things like that happen and then I'm gonna take the kind of brownish shade other thing that I'm getting pretty excited about is Jeffree Star. He keeps kind of teasing the release of his new palette slash collection. And I'm like, yo, come out with it now. I'm about to buy it. I don't even care what it is. Just let me buy it. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with things. You know, like I am such a person I have like my certain things that I like with makeup and so whenever a certain brand comes out with things I just I don't even care what it is I'm like just give it to me <laughs> well I will buy it but like still I'm like oh, yo hello and then have you guys seen the Huda mascara I don't know how the heck I feel about it I feel like I want so badly to really like Huda and I was debating about getting the mystery bags that she had for, I think it was like 48 hours she had it up, but I was like, mm, 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 cause I feel like what I bought from Huda, I like, but there are things from Huda that I kind of think are a little bit more on the 
tackier side of things and I'm like, um, like that mascara doesn't, I mean, I, I've seen mascaras like that before. It's not like anything totally different, but it's also kind of like, mm, it seems a little gimmicky. It doesn't seem practical. And then I'm gonna mix the two shades that I put on my lid. I'm gonna put it underneath my lower lash line. Some things I can do while I'm talking, other things I cannot. All right, now I'm gonna take the kind of army green shade. And I'm just gonna deep everything, deepening everything up with this shade. This is my favorite snap shadow palette. Like every time I wanna reach for the snap shadow palettes, I always feel like I reach for just this one. Which I need to stop doing but I mean these colors are definitely my favorite tomorrow is gonna be a fun video tomorrow is my top five palettes I'm filming well I'm filming it today but it'll be up tomorrow but those are the palettes that I'm like ride or die like if someone if like my house burned down or something tragic happened to my makeup collection, those would be the palettes that I would be repurchasing first. And I'm gonna do that too with a whole bunch of different categories in my makeup collection with like foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, blushes. All right, I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Gem. I searched high and low for this thing whenever it came out i like put off buying it and then i was like that was the worst decision i ever made in my life but this is the island bling two-in-one liquid eyeshadow i'm gonna take i don't think it has a name to it this one it's so pretty i love this i'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just dab it in the center. Oh, it's so pretty. I would love if Fenty came out with some more shades of this because I I wanted the gold one so bad and it just disappeared so fast <laughs> before I could get my hands on it. And then it was trying to be sold for like the most outrageous price and I was like, ugh. I don't want to pay like 50 bucks for this thing or like a hundred dollars. I definitely have some real FOMO over the years because of missing out on things like this that finally get my hand on one thing and then I'm like oh, I should have bought all of them and that's why I have this bad addiction. But I'm gonna take this shimmer out of the Cadet palette and I'm just gonna pat it pretty lightly over all of this. That way the shimmer still shines through, like the glitter particles, but it still has more of like pigment to it. And then I'm gonna go back in with that green shade and I'm just gonna blend out that inner corner, or not inner corner, what I got going on my lid. And then I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Vivid Liquid Liner in, I don't know what shade you are, Papaya Mama. This is like a really interesting, like kind of nudey pink color, but I'm gonna somehow figure out how to do a wing with this and pray that it works out. If you guys have not seen my video review on these, these crack so bad. Like the longer that you have these, the worse it gets. And I still love the shades and I like hope every time that I use them that they won't be awful to me. They always are. They're not the prettiest, but they will work. <laughs> and then I did get the Trophy Wife Life collection and it had a hyper metallic liquid eyeliner, which is a way better formula than the liquid liner that I just used. But I'm just gonna take the Trophy Wife Life Liner. I'm gonna go right along the edge. I've been really liking doing wings like this lately. And then I'm gonna take the Trophy Wife herself. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. Oh my heavens, 
are you pretty? Ooh, maybe I'll just do a touch of trophy wife on my cheeks. Just, just a, just a, just a little, little bit. Ooh, ooh, oh, what the fuego. All right, I'm gonna do brows and lashes and everything off camera and I'll be right back. All right, lashes and brows are done and then the last finishing touch is the lips. So I'm gonna use pumpkin rose. Oh, I love pumpkin rose. This is like my, honestly, my like favorite lipstick shade of all time. It is the most perfect orange lipstick shade. Let me know if you're part of the orange lipstick club. But this is the finished glowy, kind of summery, dramatic. I didn't mean for it to be so dramatic, but you know, we're inside. <laughs> it's all good, but I really like how this look turned out. I think it looks really cool. Who's part of the Roots Club? Cause I need to touch up my regrowth so badly. But that is it for this video. Let me know if you like the little Fenty full face get ready with me. Leave me some comments down below of what you guys have been doing during this whole quarantine mumbo jumbo, whatever the heck is all this stuff going on. Crazy, but it, it is cool because it is part of history you know like we're alive during this crazy weird pandemic and our kids are probably gonna learn this in a history book and be like oh yeah this is when i was supposed to graduate high school this is when i was supposed to graduate college this is when uh, we were supposed to get married this is when this was supposed to happen and it couldn't happen because of this and i think that's kind of cool to be able to talk about it but if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video i did a video comparing sample versus original product and that, that video will be right over here for you guys this video will be suggested to you by youtube and my face will be right here we click on it and subscribe to my channel